The Breakfast Huddle on Money FM 89.3. Good morning. This is The Breakfast Huddle. I'm Jason Dacey alongside Manisha Tank. It is Thursday, January the 9th, 2020. Manisha, good morning. Did you know 62 years ago in 1958, Toyota and Datsun made their first appearance in the United States at the Imported Motor Car Show in Los Angeles? You know, there might be some people listening, Jason, good morning, by the way, who are thinking, what on earth is Datsun? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, that, and look at how the Japanese car industry grew from there. So that was 62 years ago today. Money FM 89.3, another day in paradise. Phil Collins, you're listening to Workday Afternoon with me, Jason Dacey. I'll be with you until four o'clock. You know, it's the 30th anniversary since uh, that song was released. It was from Phil Collins' album, But Seriously, in 1989. And Phil Collins turns 69 later this month. The British performer, of course, performed both in London and in Philadelphia in the Live Aid concerts back in in 1985. Still going strong, of course, had a few health problems, but otherwise still performing some of his greatest hits. Coming up, we've got the news and plenty more right here on Money FM 89.3. Money FM 89.3. News headlines from The Straits Times. I'm Jason Dacey, and this is your Money FM news update. Ukraine has refused to rule out that the plane that crashed in Iran and killed all 176 people on board was struck by a missile. The foreign ministry in Kiev confirmed that all 176 people aboard the Boeing 737-800 flown by Ukraine International Airlines were killed when it came down shortly after departing from the Iranian capital of Tehran on Wednesday. The majority of passengers were from Iran and Canada. Initially, Ukraine's embassy in Iran said that engine failure caused the plane to crash and denied that it was terror-related or that a rocket had hit the aircraft. But it later withdrew this statement, saying that anything was possible with Ukraine's prosecutors to open criminal proceedings over the crash. While you were sleeping on Money FM 89.3. A story that's happened today Meghan Markle and Prince Harry to step back from being senior royals. In a statement, Prince Harry and Meghan also said they plan to split their time between the UK and North America. And the BBC understands that no other royal, including the Queen or Prince William, was consulted, Manisha, before the statement, and Buckingham Palace is, quote-unquote, disappointed. Sports on Money FM 89.3. Manchester United and England defender Harry Maguire faces an extended period on the sidelines due to a hip problem. Maguire suffered the injury during last Saturday's goalless FA Cup draw against Wolves. United are fifth on the table and already have three other defenders unavailable. Money FM 89.3. This is Workday Afternoon with me, Jason Dacey. We're coming to the end of our show, but at four o'clock, the primetime team is primed to bring all the latest on the upcoming US-China trade deal phase one. Bernard Lim, Howie Lim and our business reporter JP Ong will put everything into perspective and tell you how Asian markets have reacted today. I'll be back at the same times on Thursday. Thank you very much for your company today. Have a great evening and keep it here at Money FM 89.3.